What you are seeing here is China's absolute newest train set. It is the Revival Express, and we are taking this G123 service, one station up from Beijing South to Tianjin South. We're at Beijing South Railway Station, where we are checking out China's newest high-speed train set. A train that can go up to speeds of 250 mph, as it says on the label, the new CR400 train, up for 400 km per hour. This particular model is good for speeds up to 217 mph, or 350 km per hour. It's got business class, my favourite, first and second class, for those moments when you want distances, but not all that in terms of ticket prices. So let's go on board and check out the new Revival Express train. China's high-speed rail train sets have pretty much changed beyond recognition. Okay, so they still look like trains are right, but they've gone through many generations. However, the best really is yet to come. Starting out with just a handful of imported train sets back in 2007, the trains have become much more indigenous, have undergone a great many improvements, been optimized for Chinese climates, and have also changed in terms of appearance. The newest trains are known as the CR400 Revival Express trains. The CR400 meaning trains in this series are capable of speeds of up to 400 km per hour. They started out live as the Golden Phoenix and Blue Dolphin trains, and public beta runs started in late February 2017 on the Beijing to Guangzhou high-speed railway. Both are now on the rails, this time running between Beijing and Shanghai, with the Blue Dolphin now repainted as the Red Dolphin. So the train over here, the Revival Express, as shown in Mandarin Chinese over here rather, is the name of a new train and um, the destination marker is now integrated into the um, train. It's always been a case of now, it's basically mostly in yellow type. It shows you the train carriage number and the train code, which is very important because trains in China go by the specific train number or the train code, as that passenger might have noticed. But he didn't notice that the first and last stations were in two neat lines in Chinese and were scrolling in English or in Pinyin. Meanwhile, a look at the very new CR logo type. Japanese rail fans do take notes. Our CR logo is slightly more italic, you know, planted, italicized. It's not exactly the same as a JR logo, plus, well, it's not exactly the same. It's silver, the white, or black. That's the, I think, probably one of the new logo types for Chinese railways. To my back, emblazoned on the head of a train, is the official China Railway logo. It is a design classic for the 1950s. It's a very classic logo, showing a locomotive and a track, which is a very artistic rendition of the Chinese characters for worker. We then saw a blue CRH Harmony train. The train to my back is a uh, CRH 388 train, and is pretty much one of the fastest trains in China, optimized for three uh, speeds for 237 miles per hour, or 380 km per hour. The CRH 380A train in the back is my personal favorite. It is incredibly smooth and also picks up speed with ease. But that's a late 2010 or early 2011 train. We had to have something much newer, and we do. Now on board from Car8. One of the biggest complaints for passengers who used to travel around in business class was that their door was always being opened without them wanting to get into business class in the first place. So now what you do is you tap here and you go in. The seats are retainable, so I just, there you go. Because my wife is actually join me, joining me for the trip, it's slightly better we retain it this way. You, you will see there's an incredible amount of legroom. Uh, legroom is most notably improved in first and second class. Business class has been deluxe all, all along. And as I pointed towards the back, I hinted at the class of travel most of us use, second class. If you've ever tried the Heathrow Connect, even between the two terminal, you know, um, terminals at London Heathrow Airport, you will see that legroom is a very precious commodity. They have improved the legroom somewhat on the new trains, so... This might just be a stand-in for business class if I'm travelling for mileage, which is to be covered in 30 minutes or less. I learnt it the hard way. For someone 6 foot 3 like me, I do need all that legroom, both seated and when nature makes a call. The loos are relatively clean, uh, certainly for a starting service. Well, not too big. Everything's sterilised though. Not for drinking, uh, be careful. Slightly bit more paper um, and... Um, I don't think it's really too bad, just in case you have to go. Let's hope you don't hog up the loo while surfing the web in there. Did we mention the web? Wi-Fi? 
The good thing is there is Wi-Fi on board, and I can double check because if I go to CRNet uh, Wi-Fi, so I will see if I can go to Next Station China here. And incredibly, it seems to be loading. This train is now red instead of blue, but there you go. If the menu will load. We're Wi-Fi. But there was something looking even neater than Wi-Fi. Windows by the seats in business class. And in perfect honesty, I can say the design of those windows put maybe Club World and BA to shame in terms of futuristicness. I don't know really, just my 2P. So that's it for a very quick look at the new Revival Express. So I've got my cushion with me and I'll be travelling just one station down the line to Tianjin South so I shall see you around the network. And yes indeed, it was a very smooth and I have to say a very quiet ride as well. These trains currently run four services a day, two in each direction and starting in July 2017 are expected to run the fastest services plus some slower ones. As always, binding and official timetables are on 12306.cn. So always check before you travel. Bon voyage!